So. Squeaky chair. Um, so I don't really, not really familiar with this sort of format. These things kind of make me uncomfortable. Music. Uh, I started music when I was a kid. Um, I really got into it sort of through filmmaking and, and acting and stuff. I always wanted to be an actor. I still do. Um, but it was just sort of a natural way of, another way to tell a story. And I guess I picked up a guitar, um, in high school or something and so I just used to um, figure out I remember the white stripes that song I figured out how to play that it was wrong probably and I didn't really know how to tune a guitar at that point so it was out of tune but you know it sounded right to me and from there uh, I just started writing my own songs sort of thing sorry I don't really know if this is interesting at all to you or if you um, if you want it, I can talk about something else. If you if that suits better, um, um, I don't really know. You know, I went to the doctor the other day. I went to the doctor for a referral for like a psychologist sort of thing, um, and you know she gave me the the referral at the end of the session, and um, it you know. It has all this information for the psychologist, obviously, so they're prepared for you and it sort of had all the usual things, blah, blah, blah. But then it said eczema. And I, I thought that was a bit funny because I never told her that I had eczema. So then, you know, I was thinking, like, does she think I have eczema? Like, did she, do I look like... Do I look like I have eczema? And that sort of... That sort of worried me because I don't want to be that guy, you know? I don't want to be the eczema guy. Anyway, so I moisturize now. Um, I like the smell of cocoa butter. That's pretty great. Just got like a cocoa thing. Um, I love films, but I, I've rarely now find myself watching them. Sort of like my attention, not my attention span, I've got the focus, but I just feel lazy or something if I sit down and watch a film now, which is crazy, but... I guess I've always felt like a lazy person or sort of, I've always felt like my intention in life or most of my decisions are driven by the fact that at the core of my being, I feel lazy. So I'm always trying to avoid people thinking that of me, you know, so you keep busy and you keep distracted and sort of like busy is such a weird thing, isn't it? It's like people are always so busy. But what does that actually look like? That's the thing. It's like, what is busy? Like, if you just filmed an entire day of a busy person, I mean, they can't just constantly be doing things, can they? Like, I'm busy. Like, I say I'm busy. Um, but, you know, there's heaps of time where I'm just fucking around. Or, you know, just sitting there being like, fuck. Like, I, I don't have no motivation. So, is that what busy is? Um, is that what people mean, you know? I don't think we should be glorifying busy the way that we are, though. Nobody ever says, like, oh, man, I'm so uh, free. I think that would be cool. You're like, how are you, man? What are you, what are you up to? It's like, dude, I am so free. It's great. You know, nobody says that because I don't know why we should... I think if somebody said that to me, I'd go, I'd probably think like, oh man, that guy, I envy that guy, motherfucker. Not only is he free and doing nothing, but he's saying it, which is the thing. Nobody's, nobody wants to say that. Leisure is like frowned upon now. How dare you experience leisurely time? How dare you pass time doing great, fun things for yourself? I don't even know what I like. This is the odd thing. If somebody said to me, hey man, what do you want to do? I don't really have an answer. I don't know what it's like for most people, but I don't really have an answer to that question. I do the things that I do because I feel like I've identified those as valuable things. You know, and the more you go through life, the more you just solidify the things that you once placed value on and then you just keep doing them. And sometimes that's not awesome. Sometimes that 
you hit like a wall and you're just sort of like, fuck, this feels so banal. Um, I don't really believe in God and I'm surprised that the amount of people do that do. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm sort of, I'm pretty hyper aware of that, that I want you to think that I'm interesting. Um, so I'm mostly thinking about that, you know, uh, and I shouldn't be really, I just, but isn't that what everyone does? I mean, I want you to think that what I'm talking about is, uh, something worth writing about or talking about or passing on to people, you know, I think my entire life I'd, I've wanted to be somebody who inspires other people. I think that's sort of the thing for me. Everyone has their thing. That's my thing. I want to be inspiring to other people. Um, I'd like to be an eloquent speaker. Sometimes that doesn't go according to plan. Uh, I like fonts. I'm always impressed with good fonts. I hate Comic Sans. Everybody does, really. Is that... Can I... I don't know what to do for you. To be completely honest, I have no fucking idea what to say. So, I think, contrary to every fibre of my being, which wants to just keep vomiting out words, I think I might go. Yeah? Okay. Well, it's good talking to you. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, be well. Be well. Be well. Toodaloo. Skip to the loo, my darling. Right. Have a good day. Let's see.